I don't know if you guys saw this over here, but Elizabeth Warren says that lawmakers need a raise so that Congress isn't plaything of the millionaires and billionaires. I mean, this is kind of crazy right now. Congress approval rating is somewhere around 15%, and she's saying she needs a raise. Let's take a look at it. Senator Elizabeth Warren is joining calls for, uh, for members of Congress to get a pay raise. Everyone working in government should be paid more. Members of Congress and their staffs, the Massachusetts Democratic told Business Insider this week, Congress should not be plaything of millionaires who've already secured their fortunes and don't care about earning a living to support their families, she added. Warren has, has a point. Many members of Congress are extraordinarily wealthy as and as recently as a few years ago, most were millionaires because those are the people who have the resources to run. Like others, Warren cited the unique cost of that come with being a member of Congress, including the need to maintain two homes in two different parts of the country. I understand that no one wants to waste taxpayer dollars, but Congress needs to be more realistic about what it takes to attract the top people to public servers across the board and how to keep them engaged throughout their careers, she said. Republican uh, Representative Mark McHenry of North Carolina made a similar point in an interview last week, and Democratic Re Representative Alexandra Ocasio-Cortez of New York has been long vocal on this issue. Since 2009, members of the House and Senate have been paid an annual salary of $174,000. Excuse me. That's not a small peanut over there. Since two. 2009, members of the House and Senate have been paid 174000 Though that's more than 80% of American households make, it's a salary that hasn't kept pace with inflation. Wow. That, and one that has left members of Congress on bills at times, given the demands of the job. But Warren, who makes plenty of money uh, via her book sales, was even more adamant when it came to the need for a raise for the congressional staff. The United States government runs right now on voluntary contributions of Washington staffers who could be making twice the money, working half the hours on the private side, said Warren, who even made an increasing congressional pay as part of her 2020 presidential campaign. And that's the area of bipartisan control. OK, so let me just leave it there for a second. Let's kind of dig into this. Uh, I don't know the argument that's being tried to be made over here, OK? Uh, if you came to me, I used to be in the restaurant business and I was a manager. If a waiter had a problem with three tables in a row, say they forgot to put the order in for the burger for one other person. So the peep table had to eat alone. Say if they got the wrong drink order for the other table, never bought the dessert. And just say they just didn't pay any attention to the third table and they were sitting there forever. And I had to comp three tables at the end of the night, their whole bills. If that person came to me and said, Hey, and I get a bigger section so I can get more tables and make money. I would look at them with this face and go, are you serious? That's what we're dealing with over here. Let's not forget how much some of the money these people are making. This is Adam Schiff. His net worth in 2023 is $70 million in assets. Let me ask you a question. If you make $174,000 a year, how are you making close to $70 million? Adam Schiff's net worth is $70 million. That's U.S. dollars. Schiff earns $174,000 a year annually as a congressman. Adam Schiff is serving uh, as a U.S. representative from California since 2001. So he has been serving for 22 years. Even if he didn't spend a dime of that salary he makes, that is nowhere close to $70 million. That's, uh, let's say, 22 years. And every five years, every six years, he makes a million dollars. Okay, so that's three. Okay, so you have close to $3 million. He has close to $70 million. A member of the Democratic Party shift was a member from the California State Senate from 96 to 2000. So you can add that on over there. Let's take a look at what Adam Schiff has. This is Adam Schiff's car collection. Adam Schiff has recently gifted himself a Ferrari 812, which has cost him over $200,000. That's more than his salary for one year. Schiff all owns a BMW Z3. In addition to this, Adam Schiff owns a Rolls Royce Ghost, a Mercedes-Benz S-Class. The man is loaded. 
But here is the argument. They're saying that, let's say, for example, that if Adam Schiff wants to run for Senate, which he is, he's got to constantly be on the phone whipping for money. Some of the other senators in other areas that are a little bit more rural, that might not be in the inner cities, where it's going to take a lot more money for Adam Schiff to promote his candidacy, they might not need as enough money, but they're going to need a lot of money to run. So their argument is that they don't want to be whipping the phones all the time, that if you, the taxpayer, give them more money, then, look at this guy over here, that if you give them more money, they won't have to do those things. So in other words, they're saying, give us more money, we'll do less of the other things. We'll do less of trying to raise money. We'll do less of insider trading. Um, this is the most recent polling data from 2023, December. It puts the approval rating of the United States Congress at 15%. How could you be coming and asking for a raise when your approval rating is 15%, reflecting an increase from the previous month? In other words, it was at 13%. It went up two points to 15%. In October, the approval later, uh, uh, rating was a uh, record low, the 118th Congress, which began in January in 2023. So their approval rating has been awful across the board. It's been awful for many years. So how do you come and ask? for money. It's very, very interesting. Elizabeth Warren wants more money. Adam Schiff wants more money. Republicans want more money. Everybody across the board in Congress wants more money. The question is, do you think they deserve it or not?